the Legion of Mary, Arceus. As near to the Feast of the Annunciation as possible, the worldwide Legion of Mary, both individually and collectively, earnestly seeks each year to celebrate the Arceus, Latin for a standing army. This ceremony is one of the most beautiful and profound functions of the Legion. It's a ceremony in which the legionaries, as a body, assemble to renew their fealty to Mary, Queen of the Legion, and from her to receive strength and blessing for yet another year's battle with the forces of evil. What precisely is this purpose and meaning? Well, first of all, it presupposes an examination of our relationship to Mary and specifically a practice of true devotion to her in the spirit of St. Louis Marie de Montfort. Then we seek to renew and express publicly our consecration to Mary in the condensed and beautiful formula, I am all yours, my Queen and my Mother, and all that I have is yours. What an extraordinary depth of doctrine and devotion are packed into so few words. They express the total conviction and commitment of every true legionary. It would be difficult to exaggerate the importance of the Arceus in the life of the legion. Our founder, servant of God, Frank Duff, when it comes to the Arceus, used perhaps the bluntest words in the whole handbook. He writes, the Arceus is the great central annual function of the legion. So it is necessary to stress the importance of attendance on the part of every member. The essential ideal of the legion upon which all else is built is that of working in union with and in dependence on Mary, its queen. The Arceus is the solemn expression of that union and dependence, the renewal individual and collective of the legionary declaration of fealty. Hence it is manifest that any legionary who cannot attend, who can attend and yet fail to do so, have little or none of the spirit of the legion in them. The membership of such person is not an asset to the legion, he writes. So the purpose of the Arceus is to renew and deepen our consecration to Mary at least once a year. That consecration is at the heart of our vocation in the legion. The project of true devotion to Mary is never done once and for all, but we must keep going back to the basic principles and try to live them better throughout our lives. What does it mean? It means belonging totally to Mary. Absolutely nothing must be held back. I am all yours. Everything I am or possess, spiritual and material, past and present, I will to give every moment of my life to Mary. Why? Let us answer in the words of St. Louis Marie de Montfort, the essence of the true devotion consists in giving ourselves entirely to the Most Holy Virgin in the quality of a slave in order to belong fully to Jesus Christ. The shorthand of all the work of de Montfort and our founder is Jesus through Mary. Sometimes we might be tempted to think that this consecration is too demanding. It may appear sometimes to be a constant struggle and sometimes we can feel exhausted with all the work that never ends but accumulates day by day. But authentic love of Mary eases this problem and we remember the constant saying of Frank Duff in his many letters to legionaries. We are accustomed to think and to say that whatever we give to Our Lady through the Legion is infinitely outweighed by what she gives to us in return. Let me finally end by suggesting with the handbook that we mull over the Marian synthesis found in the appendices of the handbook before the Arceus or you ponder on the little article that Frank Duff wrote on our debt to Mary. If we really knew what Mary's maternity of each one of us cost her, and if we had ever even an inkling of her love for us, 
and her share in the work of our salvation, we would probably find making a total consecration to her the most inevitable and delightful thing we could ever do. It is good to remember that the life of a founder was utterly transformed by the repeated reading of De Montfort's true devotion to Mary and the same may very well happen to us if we follow this example. The Asis is held close to the Feast of the Annunciation to remind us of a yes. Without warning, out of the blue, totally unexpected, Angel Gabriel stood before her and asked her if she would become the mother of the Son of God. Fortunately, she said, yes, be it done to me according to your word. And look where God took her. She is fourth in command after the Father, Son and Holy Spirit and far above the rest of us. But supposing she had said, no, not me, I'm too busy. Or no, you know, let so and so do it. She's better qualified than I. Then for the rest of her life, she would have looked back on her squandered life. So say yes and see where God takes you. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.